Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, just want to make a raw video on just what I think is going on with layoffs, what we can expect rest of this quarter, rest of the year, and what that could possibly mean for recruiters, corporate staffing companies from like a recruiter's perspective. And if you're new here, thank you for tuning in. My name is Preston. I've been a professional recruiter for almost about a decade, run my own recruitment agency. If you're looking for a new next dream job or you need help hiring, you know, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to help you out but let's get into this so so to kick off i think there's some good news and there's some bad news i think the bad news is that unfortunately layoffs are happening a lot in early 2024 and i don't think it's going to stop anytime soon the good news is that i don't think that this will happen and continue to happen forever i still think that we have a really good chance depending on the numbers what we're seeing in january february these will continue definitely throughout the first half of 2024 what happens afterwards tbd i think a lot of it is correlated to the market interest rates recession it's a very tumultuous time Time here in the US. But there are also a couple other variables that I think has accelerated and are also the reasons why layoffs are still happening. So let's talk about that. So if my personal opinion, I think first and foremost, a lot of companies overhired during the pandemic. They went crazy. I think from 2019, 2020, 2021, we've seen just enormous amount of growth for big tech startups, companies in tech, but also companies outside of tech. You know, a lot of money, people were forced at home and people just started spending like crazy. And interest rates are fine, not as rocky as they are now. And so because of that, a lot of companies just went literally on a crazy, crazy recruiting spree, right? And for those that were in like the staffing side, it's, it was phenomenal, right? It's so easy to get clients, so easy to do placements. Placements are happening by the multitudes and life was great. And I think the rebound of that is companies realize, oh my God, like, you know, the market is very tough right now. A lot of macro, micro variables are happening right now. Interest rates are high. Recession is happening. Whether or not you believe it, you know, taking money, raising money is a lot more difficult. And now we just have an excess amount of talent as a result from like our hiring spree. So I think number one, layoffs have been stemming from companies realizing that they just overhired and they're just kind of trimming the fat to say. The second thing is, you know, over the past, I would say the year, year and a half, a lot of people are talking a lot more just on AI, automation, just being more lean. And I think while AI and automation is a, a significant variable, I don't think it is the variable to describe why layoffs are happening. I think it's a combination of that. I think it's also a combination of companies overcorrecting. But the third most important thing that I see happening is that companies are just realizing through like a copycat trickle down effect that you can do more with less, right? Mark Zuckerberg shared in 2023, like the whole theme for him with Meta moving forward is all about efficiency. And what that means is like layoffs, right? Having more people do less with the same amount of resources. And I think for a lot of smaller companies in tech who all they've known in the past year or two is just growth, 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 growth. And now it's so much more difficult to go growth. They're seeing like their role models, these big tech companies like Meta and Google doing layoffs. And because they're happening so often now, it's like normalizing and whether or not you're profitable or not, we're now seeing companies of all sizes, interesting enough to just follow suit because like, wow, if, if Meta's doing this, if Google's doing this, if you know all these other big companies doing this, well, maybe we're missing something. Maybe we need to follow suit and see if we can also be more efficient as well. So I think a lot of it is a trickle down effect, a copycat, whether or not you actually need to do layoffs, companies are doing it. Did you just start your own recruitment agency and are struggling getting your own clients? Are you thinking about starting your own agency but afraid to make the jump? Do you have your own clients but you're struggling to find the perfect cans fast? Do you have a full-time job and want to do recruitment part-time to make more money on the side and have no idea how to? If you answered yes to any of these questions, please consider joining our private community. It is a trust-based community where recruiters around the world can support, collaborative, and work together on placements all around the year consistently. In this community, you will directly have access to the real open jobs of my team and of our members. And you will also have the chance to access trainings, events, giveaways, and much, much more. If you are part of this community, I communicate and work with you as if you were on my own team, and I'll do whatever I can to do a placement together with your client or candidate. So if you're struggling to get your own clients or candidates and you want a way you can make sure you can be busy all year round by having access to many more open roles, then this is something you need to look into. This is open to people around the world and is open for recruiters in every industry and experience levels as we will always have a good number of variety of open jobs across sectors, markets, and industries. I'm really happy to say that within the first 30 days, we have already have a new member with minimal recruiting experience do his first placement that had a total fee of almost 30,000 US dollars and we are working 
working hard to do many, many more this year. If you are interested and excited, there are only a limited number of spots open, so make sure you sign up quick at patreon.com slash recruiter Preston. If you have any questions, please reach out to me on LinkedIn, Instagram, or Discord. We can set up a time to chat. See you on the other side. I think for those companies that are public, like big tech layoffs have actually benefited them in terms of like the shareholders, the value that they give shareholders to the markets and investors. If anything, layoffs are happening so often now that once upon a time when a layoff happened, everyone's like, oh my God, like layoffs are happening. That company might not be doing well, but Facebook rebounded more than ever after doing a layoff. And the same thing with many other companies that layoffs are now being normalized. And now smaller companies, whether or not they needed layoffs are watching this like, you know what, if they can do it and they can trim the fat cut expenses doing layoffs, then we should do it too. It makes sense. We can save our burns, lower our overhead and expenses, and just put our business in overall kind of a healthier standpoint. So I think on one hand, while it's good news for businesses, that businesses are like, wow, we can actually do more with less. Maybe we don't have to be so bullish. We don't have to, you know, over hire as many people as we actually think or hire as many people we actually think. It can have real consequences on not only the, the employees, the morale at the company and those that are directly getting impacted and laid off. And so I think it's a combination, again, just to recap, there are aspects of automation, AI, companies using more and more kind of technologies to streamline their efficiency, be more operationally efficient and utilizing technology like automation AI to basically help them run their businesses with low overhead and costs. It's also just an overcorrection massively from a pandemic in 2020. And also, I just think it's just companies overcorrecting again on this efficiency theme and trying to do whatever they can to decrease their burn because it's harder than ever to raise money from investors. It's harder than ever to get that first sale from customers or more sales from customers. And in just financially and economically, it's just a lot more difficult of an environment that we are in. So companies doing whatever they can. And if they're seeing a lot of these other companies doing layoffs and saving a lot of money, they're like, you know what, why shouldn't we do that? People are now understanding like there's also a whole nother party like Wall Street investors. It's also benefiting a lot. Facebook has seen a rebound significantly in the stock pricing with many other companies. And, and once upon a time when layoffs were just kind of looked down upon as just bad leadership, a bad business practice, they're like, you know what? Wow, this is, layoffs can actually be a good thing. Just it's a normal thing, just completely from the company's perspective, not so much from those that are being impacted. Now let's talk about the other side. So layoffs, while you can argue in so many different ways that it's beneficial for the company, honestly, my hearts go out to those that are just being impacted. I mean, I can't, I can't like empathize enough how difficult situation it is to find out that you're laid off off or find out through emails or messages or Slack that you got laid off or find out that you show up to work one day and your phone and your computer doesn't work and you don't even get like a heads up. Like it's just, and you know, it's, it's tough, right? People's livelihoods are affected. People's families are affected and it's never an easy conversation to have. And so those that are going to get laid off, are getting laid off, you know, honestly, like it's just brutal and my heart's go out to it. So what could this mean from the internal recruiters point of view? So I think unfortunately with recruiting, if companies are laying off people or downsizing, recruiters unfortunately are the first to go, which is a whole nother conversation we could have. And because I love recruiting, I love recruiters, all kinds. And I think that, you know, we are one of the most important departments in any company, right? What it can also mean for the, the, the scope or job of an internal recruiter is that especially in an industry like tech, for instance, where layoffs are happening and there's so much good talent in the market, just one job post, you know, you get hundreds of resumes. Uh, it's so easy. It, it's so much more easier to get a response or engagement with talent in the market because there's unfortunately so many amazing people that just don't have jobs right now, right? So I think for those that are in a fortunate situation where you're working in a company that's growing, you'll be able to find a lot of great talent out there, which is which is a great thing. And I hope that you can find a lot of these people great homes, you can pay them well, fantastic culture. And you know, for those that are affected, I'm sure can find a really good home soon. But on the flip side, if you're an internal recruiter, I would also just be wary, like tech layoffs, layoffs in general are still happening, they're gonna continue to happen. And you just wanna make sure like you look over your back, you protect yourself as well. And I know, unfortunately, again, recruiters are the first to go. When companies go through growth, recruiters are the first to hire. So be smart, hedge, watch your back a little bit, but also in your day-to-day -day life, if you guys are actively recruiting, like there's a lot of great talent out there. So I would just kind of definitely keep that in mind. What could this mean for like recruiters on the staff and the external side? I think specifically in tech, it's very difficult, right? To get new clients because there's so much great talent out there. Companies don't really think that there is a need for them to spend a lot on services like ours to help them hire when they think 
that there is a lot of great talent out there and they can just reach out with minimal work and hire people. Here's the thing. So like while that's true, another kind of point of view that you can look at is that it's more important than ever for companies to utilize services like us because we go out there and we save them something important, time, right? If you go out there and you post a job record, your company, your founder, you get hundreds of resumes. It takes a lot of time for you and your team to get through all of them. And a lot of them, unfortunately, are not going to be like the perfect fit. Wouldn't it make more sense for you to spend a little bit more and get maybe four or five, 10 curated candidates that are the perfect fit? So immediately you save time and you can focus most of your time on what you need to do, which is running your company, growing that culture, selling your products and services so that your company can continue to see another day and move forward. So I think like when you're on the external side, it's all about how can we show more value or communicate that value to clients. I think if you're on the recruiting staffing side, looking for talent, again, especially in tech, a lot of really great talent out there that we need to find homes. And, you know, we have the opportunity to work with a lot of great companies in other industries that also might be hiring talent that have a technical background, right? It's our duty and our job to help the talent as much as possible, as much as like we are helping clients to kind of fill their roles. So a lot of just thoughts happening right now, a lot of emotions right now, I think layoffs. Unfortunately to say for me, like it's happening so often that it even kind of normalized for me being a recruiter on the front lines in the talent space. I was so used to now reading articles about layoffs. The first couple of times like, oh my God, layoffs are happening. And now almost every other week or every other month you hear about these layoffs. And even though like a part of me just feels hurt and feels just again, sending just vibes and prayers to those that are being affected, a part of me is like, wow, like this is just, it's happening so often. It's almost like another article, more news, cool. Now we just gotta, you know, change gears, focus on our work and move forward and then just not be that surprised when more layoffs happen. So it's just an interesting arc that we're seeing with the, the narrative and people's thoughts and feelings about layoffs. It's interesting to be in a profession where we're like literally in the front trenches of layoffs. I still think recruiting is a fantastic career, fantastic industry, and it's also just fascinating. We're working with people and companies that are at the cutting edge of recruiting, hiring in whatever industry that you're in. And so we get to just see a lot of things. And I just want to you know, share some of my personal thoughts on what I think is happening in the world of layoffs. I think it's going to continue to happen. I don't know which companies are going to do it. I also, interesting enough, see companies that don't have to do layoffs are doing layoffs just because they're like, you know what? Hey, if it can be a good excuse to kind of save a buck or to make the investors happy, why not? The downside of that is again, real lives are being affected right? So there's always kind of yin and yang and black and white with layoffs. It's never like one sided completely. So either way, all of this is stay deeply sad that layoffs are happening. I think there are a lot of different reasons why layoffs are happening. If you're in recruiting on the corporate or external side, just, you know, watch very carefully, watch your back as they will continue to do it. And if there's any way that you can give more value and help talent out there or to help new companies out there, we should. It's our job to make meaningful relationships and to help people, help teams, help founders, help talent in any way that we can. So take that with a silver lining. I hope all is well. Sorry for the raw format here. Currently just traveling right now. A lot's happening in my life. I just wanted to kind of make a video here and share my thoughts and hope it helps. So thanks again. We'll see you on the next one.